Spurgeon here with RevZilla TV to talk to you today about the Tourmaster Select tail bag available at RevZilla.com. So the Select tail bag is going to be a 23 liter mid-size tail bag from Tourmaster and we're going to see this work in conjunction with their Select saddle bags or you can use it as a one-off piece. Now, whether you're going to be adding this to existing luggage to give yourself a longer haul option or you're simply looking for a one-off piece for around town use, the Select tail bag is going to work really great with a variety of different motorcycles. There's really no limit to what you can use this with and it is going to come with a universal mounting option that will allow you to put it on pretty much any bike. With that being said, to get this installed on a bike on our BSD, our beard scale difficulty for installation, we're looking at about a one out of three. It shouldn't take you more than maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour in the garage to get this set up on your specific bike. With that being said, we're going to talk more about installation at the end, but for right now, let's jump in and talk about what sets the select tail bag apart from some of the other tail bags that you're going to see out there in the market. So Tourmaster has been around since 1980 and they've really made a name for themselves developing high-end luggage and apparel that's not going to break the bank. Personally, I've been using Tourmaster luggage for about nine years and I still have the original saddlebags that I bought with my first motorcycle, again, almost 10 years ago now. This stuff holds up. The reason it holds up so well is really the construction that you're going to see used. With this particular bag that you're going to have in front of me, this is going to be a 600D Carbolex proprietary material, and it's the same stuff that we're going to see Tourmaster using all of their jackets. What that means for you, super beefy construction, holds up over time, and it's not going to wear out. You can beat the hell out of this stuff, and it just keeps going. You're also going to notice that with this bag, you're going to have these semi-rigid panels on the side, and it's simply going to allow you to let this bag hold upright, even when it's not packed full of stuff. I like that. It's a nice design, increasing just the usability and the functionality of this, and it also looks nice. The other thing you're going to see is there's a ton of reflectivity on this bag. You're going to have one main strip going down the top. You're also going to have a strip going around the, si or on the back, and then on the sides, on the side pockets, you're going to see a ton of reflectivity. So no matter where you're at, people are going to see you with this bag on the back. The other thing I want to point out is that Tourmaster likes to include a ton of extras with their luggage. You're going to see in this main compartment up front, or this little compartment in the front, you're going to have a rain cover. It's going to be included with the bag and they give you this nice little pocket to keep it stored away on the dry days. The other thing you're going to see as we flip this around, there's going to be a grab handle on the back and you're going to have these D loops. That's going to work great with the included shoulder straps. So if you get to where you're going and you want to take this with you, they're going to have a shoulder strap included. Again, Tourmaster is really good at giving you a lot of extras with the bag and the luggage that you purchase. Now, opening this up, the main compartment on this one, again, 23 liters in capacity, and there's not too much frills to the actual main compartment. You have one large compartment, and this is how I like my luggage. I like one large compartment that I can kind of store all my stuff in and figure out exactly how I want to partition off myself. The other thing you notice is a few extra little storage pouches up top on the inside flap and then the zipper is going to have a two-way zip to it so you can kind of zip it up in the middle or you can zip it up on either side. Again, two main connections to the zipper, proprietary zips throughout the entire bag. And then on the sides, you're going to have two side pockets. Not a ton of extra storage, but I find this really comes in handy for keeping something like spare tubes on a longer trip. Again, I keep a front tube on one side, a rear tube on the other, and it just comes in handy for any repairs that I have to do along the side of the road. You can kind of figure out what you want to use it for, but that's just a suggestion of how I use it. Now, let's flip this bag over and talk about the actual mounting points for this. The mounting points for this particular bag, if you decide to use it with the select luggage, you're going to have four, four little clips on either side and it's going to simply mount to the existing select luggage you already have installed in your bike. For those of you out there that are using this as a standalone piece, on our BSD, our Beard Scale of Difficulty 4 installation, this is going to be a one out of three on our BSD. It's going to be about 15 minutes to a half an hour to get it installed using the included hardware with it. Again, Tourmaster likes to give you everything you need. So you're going to have neoprene covers for all the straps and then you're also going to have all the existing mounting straps that come that where you're going to be able to loop this around your frame, you're going to be able to get this mounted on and for those of you that have a painted part, Tourmaster is even going to include a nice neoprene pad that's going to sit along the bottom and it's not going to scuff your paint. Now the only thing that I would like to see done differently if I had to make a call out, I would love to see them come up with a pad where this actually the pad stays mounted to your bike and then you're simply clipping the bag on and off. But as far as, it's go as far as it's concerned right now, it's still a nice option. You just have to make sure that you take the bag off every time. There's no way to leave the pad on and take the bag off and use it that way. All in all, I think Tourmaster did a really nice job with this bag, and I'm a huge fan of their luggage. Like I said, 
I've used Tormaster luggage for years now, and it simply holds up over time. There's a lot of folks out there rocking Tormaster luggage. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor, click below. We or other riders are digging about the Tormaster setups they have on their bikes. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Tormaster Select Tailbag. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.